This town ain't big, this town ain't small. It's a little of both, they say. Morning, everyone. Uh, I'm back at Fudge Memorial Ballpark here. Uh, it looks like they're doing some work in the parking lot over there, so I'm going to leave those guys alone and uh, hit the, the field out here, maybe get into the infield. Kind of, I, I was detecting the other day in a, a park, and a woman came by and told me that her dad used to do a lot of metal detecting out here and would spend five to 10 hours a day, every day metal detecting as many spots as he could. So that kind of helps me out a little bit because I was wondering uh, why I wasn't finding anything in some of these prime spots, like uh, a ballpark that was built in the forties and used to uh, be filled with pretty much everyone in town on uh, Saturdays when they'd play. So, uh, might not find anything, <laughs> so I guess we'll see. But uh, anyway, Fudge Memorial Ballpark in Melbourne, Arkansas. Okay. Second kind of dig of the day. I got a little piece of iron earlier. Um, I think, well, I already dug this, so it's like a coat hanger of some kind. Something in here. Oop. Got, uh, got a penny, uh, wheat, wheat penny, yeah, 19, it's like a 47D, check, oh, worms in here. Probably should have my gloves on. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's close here. I'm gonna throw my other glove on just in case I'm digging trash or more more iron here. Yep. It is in this handful. Ah, another penny. Let's see. That one looks like another weedy. You got I'll take my glasses off. Nineteen forty? Yep, nineteen forty. That's good. I should probably run this again. Oh, Another? I got some other kind of target down here. It's kind of weird that there are some wheat signs. I had a little bit of jump in the target but uh for the most part it was just um it was around the 40 45 um and a little jumping into the 50s usually with with the wheats it's almost spot on to uh 60. I don't know that this is actually uh Oh man. I'm gonna run my 
coil over this a little bit. I don't think this is anything getting down here. It was just my uh, pinpointer finding something. I did find a Barbie boot out here also. So my daughter will be happy about that. Kind of okay. A little messy. See what we have here. Just a couple inches down. But Nope, that's what it is. It is about the size of a quarter. I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, kind of hard to tell. Looks like it might be modern. I'll have to check what that is later. But yeah, quarter. 82, 83, exactly where it should be. Check the hole again. And nothing. But yeah, a quarter, nice. Okay, so I stood up, ran my detector. And exactly where I dug a second ago. I got a hit, so let's see. I ran my pinpointer around over there, and it didn't come up with anything, but I may not have been that far. Oh, I think I just saw it. I saw something. There we go. It's another quarter. Same spot. And if it's like the other one, it's just a state quarter, which I believe it is. But still, I will take that. And, uh, oops, that's another. So I've been down here the last 30 minutes digging wire, like this stuff, here, and I finally got a good signal. There's a, Really strong 70 and uh, pull out a quarter. Uh, let's see if I can. All right, sorry, not a quarter, uh, a dime. Probably modern. Yeah, can't see a date, but Roosevelt and uh, I'm guessing modern, but I'll check it out later. So anyway, it was a good find. So a couple quarters, a couple Wheaties, Roosevelt. So not bad. Um, certainly a lot better than uh, than it was up at the the main part where the concessions were. I'm guessing this spot. I've only gone maybe in a 20 by 30 area, and I'm guessing this spot is. Uh, was an old hangout or something for kids. Okay, so I expected nothing out of this hole. 
Um, I was getting upper 50s to low 60s initially and thought, well, oh, maybe it's a penny or something like that. And then it, as I moved around the hole, it started to bounce around everywhere. And I pulled out this, which I think is like a soda can or something. Um, so before I grabbed my pinpointer, I glanced back in the hole and look what I found. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a Kennedy half. So I'm gonna, I have never uh, actually found a half of any kind. So I'm kind of happy about this. I don't know. Uh, so it's 1971. So I've never found a Kennedy of any kind. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I wouldn't say I had it high on my bucket list, but definitely a bucket list item. Um, and it, you know, the detector did, it was in the 50s to 60s, um, and it did jump a little up high around the 90s. To, I've never found a half, so I'm assuming it, it's higher in the 90s, but uh, I'd have to go check. Um, let's see what that is. That is a, not what I was digging for. Oh, oh. <laughs> and nearly right on top of that one is another one. Uh, that one, these are not as bad dark as I thought they'd be. 67, is there another? It's kind of crazy, I've had three holes now where I've dug out one I dug out two quarters, one I dug out uh, two um, wheat pennies, and now two halves. So this is kind of a crazy ball field for me. A lot better than it was the other day for sure. So, oops, broke up my dress there, that's not good. Try and get those in there. So, yeah, two halves. Never got one before, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy out there. And uh, another hole I didn't expect to get anything out of. It's kind of bouncing around again. And I got a little uh, penny, probably zinc. Let's see if I can. It's kind of. Got a nice sheen to it, actually. Yeah, it says 2000 something on it, so. Modern Penny. That's, um, nothing else. Yeah, that one was, you know, in the territory of a Penny Zinc. It was uh, 58 to 64. Um, a lot of times pennies are right on with uh, Fisher F5, but uh, I guess this field is We'll have a little bit of surprise. All right, it's getting a strong 70 in here. Oh, there it is. And it was saying it was right on top anyway, so I didn't. I imagine this is probably in the 2000s or something. Yep, 2000. So another Roosevelt. Um, that must have been it. Oops. Helps. If I turn my pinpointer on, all right. Okay. So I uh, okay. So that's where I just dug. I I, I put my pin pon pinpointer down here, and I go like that. I went to pick it up like that, and it just started going off again. So, I've been getting, let's see here, two wheat pennies, two Kennedy halves, um, two of something else I can't remember right now. I just dug a dime here and something there. So, let's see what, I'll just do a live dig. 
Oh. Let's see. The uh, oh. the pin points are. I usually keep it at the highest, and they'll go a good four inches down. So I'm not really sure how deep this is. I can hold on to it. It's a uh, Merc and maybe an inch down. Not deep, but uh, man. <laughs> another, I don't think I found a Merc all year, so another good find. Not two holes again, pretty close. I highly doubt someone, one person dropped both of those. So, um, starting to try, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in this area here. It's uh, and where I've detected is from my car to that pole, and then to me, this is a there's a storage thing here and then over so it, it hasn't well so maybe what 20 feet by 60 feet and now I'm heading out that way so this this really must have been to either hang out or something with the kids maybe there are bleachers here at some point because you can have the you can kind of see where the the where that white building is it's close to home base so all right, getting a really strong uh, 70, 71. Um, the confidence meter was uh, around four bars. So that's usually a pretty good indicator that this is gonna be a dime. Pulled up a mark just a little bit ago. So, and it is, well, it is not a dime. It is a penny, a memorial penny. Uh, can't tell the year right now, but it's modern. So, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, yeah, I have to look into it. Sometimes my, uh, sometimes those pennies will pull up in a like a. 70, 71, just exactly like a dime will. So, you know, if you want to come out here, if you're ever looking to fish, I've come across probably a hundred worms in the holes that I've been digging. So, so that guy back down in his home, get back to work. Okay, so I don't know what this is going to be, but um, this field's kind of giving me a lot of different readings and such. This one was coming up as a 59.60, about three inches down. So we'll see if it ends up being here. The uh, old bolt, I guess. And that looks like it's it. So I've been out here about 
two and a half hours and do a little wrap up here. But this is Fudge Memorial Park, a ballpark in Melbourne, Arkansas. This is North Central Arkansas. You can see the concession house back there. And I was essentially digging in center field. Um, but with what I was pulling up, it was almost like it was bleachers out here. That's uh, down to about that. That first pull, a little past there, uh, that's where I was digging. And I probably did about a 30 foot by 150 foot space. So it wasn't a lot of space, but I did come up with quite a bit of uh, cool stuff. Um, I'll start with my bag check here. So I had the Fisher F5, uh, my headphones, the Fisher F Pulse pinpointer, little garden crawl, uh, gloves, knee pad, the green bag is what I keep all that stuff in, and then the blue bag is my garbage. And then uh, the baby mat. So today, you know, just garbage. I pulled up so much of this stuff, I already threw some of it away, but it, it was coming up all over the place. Um, sometimes it nickel to the point where I wanted to just notch out nickel on the detector. And then sometimes up to 70, 71, which is usually where dimes hit. Um, a little crazy today. So I've never really, I've had a couple little spills, but not like this. Um, the spills I had today, so I don't really remember the order, but I had four, not spills, but four with two of the same coin or similar in denomination. So I had the two wheat pennies. I think those were first. Then I, I dug one hole and I found a dime and then uh, put my pinpointer down and it didn't go off right away. But when I went to pick it up, I, I got a little signal. And so I pushed it down and there it was. And I dug up the smirk. And then uh, these are two quarters. These things that look like uh, <laughs> large cents. Those are two modern quarters, state quarters. And then I had another one where it seems like I must have dug another coin or piece of junk or something. And then and I had, uh, I think this half, this Kennedy half, I dug that up. And then I moved the pinpointer around and found that Kennedy half. So I don't know. Some of these are older, but. I don't know if they're modern spills or, or dating back to the 40s, or but it, they pretty much span from the 40s on up to now. So that was kind of interesting, kind of fun. And then uh, there was a modern, two modern pennies and a modern dime there, and then a, uh, a Barbie boot. So that'll be for my daughter. Um, but anyway, yeah, kind of a fun day. Really interesting how the digs were. Um, wasn't a large space and it was uh pretty much back like i said where center field is so it, that's why I, I think maybe there were bleachers or something back there maybe it was a place where kids hung out um but from the, the denominations of the coins the decades that they represent i kind of think it was some bleacher seats so anyway fun day and uh we'll see you next time this town ain't big, this town ain't small, it's a little of both.